What's going on, everyone? Seth Miranda. I'm Dave Bresca. This is Adorama Rewind. So let's get to the first story. Yeah, so Polaroid coming out of the gate with some uh, one-step add-ons, Bluetooth, and extra lens. Basically, a, uh, a camera with an app, analog camera with an app. Yeah. Yeah, so it basically gives you all your manual one controls and everything you could want from a remote inside an app. So you can have manual exposure, remote, obviously, self-timers, double exposures, light painting. It's basically full camera control of an analog camera from a, an app on your phone. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's great. Yeah, so it's best of both worlds. Um, but also from Polaroid, we have the two-in-one instant camera and mint printer. So this, this is actually um, a digital camera with a printer built in. So it's, so it's kind of like the other direction. Yeah, it's like a digital version of an instant camera, but it looks like a box of Polaroid film from when we remember it, right? right? Um, it, it looks like a lot of fun. Um, it's not a heavy price tag at all. It's uh, small. It's small. We've seen it, digital printers from other companies uh, that are pocket sized, but this actually has the camera built in, so that's right. kind of cool. Yeah. Other printers uh, have uh, will record the film, but they're big. This seems like super small, super convenient. I'm curious about it. I don't know about you. Yeah, you don't necessarily need to like connect it to your phone to actually take pictures. That's You're taking the thing. pictures from the device itself. It's just so. like a pull out pop. And get a get a exposure out of it. So that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. Speaking more tech news, Sony HX99, HX95, smallest compact camera, 720 millimeter reach for the zoom. Yeah. So this is this is kind of a um, this form factor of Sony's uh, that they they've had previously uh, with a couple of other cameras, and but this. Jeez. Look but this, this the zoom range is ridiculous look for this, this tiny of a camera. It's, it's like a, a pan over of the Death Star look. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, so, so they're saying a, a 35 millimeter equivalent of 24 to 720 millimeter, which is... Uh, We're seeing a lot of big zooms coming out lately. Yeah, yeah. Have you noticed of, that? A lot of big zooms. Um, a lot of big zooms. 18 megapixel? That's... 18 megapixel with that. all that zoom. You Plus could, 4K video. For all you people that want to save the money on the seats but get the better shot. Right. <laughs> this well, and this camera. is also, again, it's another camera that it can fit in your pocket. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, like, you're not shooting in your pocket. Yeah. And uh, Sony Thinking Ahead also has just created these, the tough cards. Right. So these ones are able to withstand, as they say, uh, 18 times the, uh, the, pressure. the pressure of standard SD cards. Uh, they're also water and dust proof, basically. I think you can put them underwater for, for, for like, was it five meters for like two hours or whatever it is. It's, I don't know. It's, it's nuts. Yeah. So everyone you don't has have been to worry about your, your SD card, basically. Yeah, everybody's been crazy about, as uh, you know, memory failure. Um, I think we're addressing this issue. Memory is getting better and better, and I think this is a smart move for yeah. sure. And they're fast too. They're yeah, like they're 300 fast. megabytes per second. Like There's that's... no compromise here. You're not getting one thing for the other. There, this yeah. could be just like standard going forward, which is awesome. Um, yeah. But speaking of being waterproof, we got this right. guy coming out. The first ever waterproof underwater drone. Yeah, I think this is kind of cool. It, it's, it's. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> I even know. You laugh at. I don't even know where to go from here. Right. I mean. You've got, you've got a drone that operates underwater, or, or rather, it's it's waterproof, so you can land it in the water. Yeah, we've all seen those YouTube videos of like drones crashing in the water. People trying to like save them before the crash, and now it won't be an issue. I've done it. I, <laughs> I, I've done it. <laughs> of course, you have. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, it's definitely something that that I think more drone manufacturers are going to, to start. 100%. Like, add, they're going to start adding more waterproofing to their the drones. A lot of them already have. A level of, of weather protection. Yeah. Like if you've seen some of, of them, you, you you can fly in the rain, you know, a little bit. Yeah. So well, so. They're, they're already sealed to some degree because they have to be going through atmospheres and going through uh, hum, uh, like humid conditions and things like that. Yeah. So fogs, things like that. So, but to actually be able to handle a landing in water right. could be a huge huge advantage um do you, i don't know if we're ever going to see a Hasselblad branded one on there <laughs> like we just seen DJI. With the, DJI. Get on that. You know, you no more shrink wrapping your drones. You can just, you can just fly. It. But it is, it is pretty cool that we're becoming more and more durable as technology advances. We're seeing yeah. the SD cards now. This, who knows where we're gonna go? Yeah, like first generation drones were were very frail. You know, so it was, it's kind of it's nice to see this this 
growing shift to like more durable, more weather resistant drones. You you invest in something and the the price of things just going up and up. You want it to last, right? So this is just uh, more um, more fail safe on your investments. Yeah. But speaking of moving forward. Yes. Adobe Creative Cloud will exclude older operating systems. Yeah, so uh, Windows 8 and earlier, not supported, and Mac OS uh, 10.11, which is El Captain, uh, not supported. Yep. So... Which is like a nightmare for some people. Right, these are, these are operating systems that a lot of people have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, like a lot of people have, have operating systems that, that age and older. 100%. Um, so it's interesting that, that they're doing this. I wonder if part of the reason is for, um, for like a level, a, a kind of an added level of stability, right? Because uh, when you have less operating systems that you're, you're worrying about, less versions of operating systems, you're inherently going to be more stable. Well, just to optimize what you're doing, you yeah. have to be with the latest. It's like building a taller house on a shadier platform. Like you yeah. have to, uh, foundation rather. Um, yeah, we, this is inevitable. I think this is a little abrupt, in my opinion, with the whole, like, it's not that old, these, these systems at all. So if you're on these um, operating systems, be aware that if you're a Creative Cloud user, this is going to affect you. Yeah. All right. But to brighter news, <laughs> <laughs> Apple's offering free over-the-phone photo editing classes. Right. So this is for use with the uh, Apple Photos app, specifically. Uh, kind of how to use it, how to um, how to make the best out of it, and, yep. and and use all the functions that you didn't even know that were in it. Which I think is kind of kind of like you, most of us are like, Photos app. That's the one that you just you just import. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, but no, it's, there's actually a lot more to it. And oh, this no, is for macOS some... and iOS that, that they're they're doing these classes for. There's definitely some marketing to this. Like yeah, it's not free. Sure. It's not free, but it is it is free. So if you have a half an hour, call them up. Go down the app and they'll walk you through it, which is kind of cool. You might discover some features that you didn't know you even wanted or that could actually elevate your game or help you uh, organize what you do or your workflow. Yeah, spe especially for beginners, I would say. This 100%. Is, like if you're, not well, if you're not ready to, to drop uh, money down for the subscription for the Creative Cloud or uh, one of the other um, photo editing softwares out there, then, um, you know, it might be a good idea to, to just learn the stuff that you already have, you know? Mm. Get the most out of what you have first and then move on to, to more advanced. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about some of this stuff. Uh, I want to know who out there would find the Polaroid printer plus camera enticing. I mean, we're in, it's in a weird thing. It's like the size of a phone, but it gets you a print. Or would you rather have something that's just a printer that you send from your phone? Right. Um, is the Sony Tough Card making you guys feel any better, or do you feel like, ah, I've been fine with my SD cards? Or, or, or even within the Polaroid cameras, which one of those do you even prefer? Oh, that's cool. Right? Like, uh, would you rather have this analog print, or would you rather it be digital files and small? Yeah. You know, because it's really small. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, so, it's awesome. I mean... Do you care about the multiple copies, but not being like an analog amazing print? I mean, there's printers out there that do analog printing, so Plus we're fans of. There's, <laughs> ad, there's added functionalities to the the analog one, like the the telephoto lens. Hundred percent. So so there's things that it has that the other one doesn't have. I'm curious to see where people fall on that. Yeah, I'm actually curious to see if anyone even would use the functionality of the app. Like, do you care about light right. painting? Do you care about double exposures? Or do you just want to walk around and get fun shots with your friends and hand a print to someone and have it last forever? Right. Um, what do you think about the waterproof drone? Has this been a concern for you guys? I don't know. I mean, I'm not a drone guy. You seem to have had issues with <laughs> crashing drones to the water. Um, or is the Adobe update uh, scary for you? Do you think that the operating system is a little too abrupt? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's also the other thing, too, is... is uh, you know, are, do you have one of the, the operating systems that they're currently re reducing or, or removing the uh, connection to? How do you feel about that? Like, is that going to push you to, to upgrade your operating system oh. more? Or are you more willing to switch to just a different software application? Yeah, I mean, that's interesting. Well, that's your Sophie's choice, I guess. That you're at right, that right, right, right. Uh, you know, um, and uh, what do you think about an over-the-phone seminar? Would you rather have a webinar? Would you, do you think you even need this? Are the YouTube videos that are out there enough for you? I don't know. It's kind of cool that they're offering for free uh, for the Apple uh, photo editing software. Yeah, I mean, it's cool that you can, like, ask questions. and Like, actually have someone there? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, uh, or is it a recorded message? Do we know? 
They, they, they say it's actually a, a real person. A real human being. You were thinking, yeah. Who would have thought, this day and age, they still exist. <laughs> Everything's not robots? <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> All right. So uh, we will see you guys down in the comments. Hit like. The bell is over here. Do that. And uh, hit subscribe if you're joining us for the first time. And we will see you... Next week. Are we going to see them next week? Yeah, we might be a little bit late because of the holiday. So yeah. try Wednesday instead of Tuesday. And for everyone that's getting this now, I just want to let you know we don't believe in talking rumors. So we'll see you next time with real facts. Yeah. Okay. Later, guys. <laughs> Bye.